do you get excited when you think about what it means to you, what this goal means to you? Oh my God, yes. Like Awesome. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Strong Writing Podcast, where we grow our songwriting muscles together. Today's episode is a very special one because today I'm going to let you be a fly on the wall during a coaching session with my client and good friend, Trikvi. He's a successful Icelandic songwriter, and we're working on some long and short-term goals for his songwriting career. And during this talk, you'll hear a lot of very actionable and practical tips you can use to set your own goals and build your own songwriting routine. In this talk, we break down Trikvi's three-month goal of setting a consistent and powerful songwriting routine, which is a prerequisite for his long-term goals. We've set several goals for his career, and it's very exciting. Uh, now, I'm going to follow up on this talk with Trikvi as he makes progress. So make sure that you subscribe uh, wherever you listen to podcasts or on YouTube so you won't miss watching him crush his goals. If you would like to take your songwriting career to the next step, you can now book a free consultation with me on strongwriting.net, my website, and I can help you figure out the ideal next steps to take on your journey. It's totally free. There are no strings attached. So visit strongwriting.net today and book your call. On the website, you'll also find uh, great free resources for songwriters, as well as the show notes to each episode. So visit strongwriting.net today. Today's sponsor is the Indie Bible. If you are an independent artist, you need to be putting your best foot forward and being proactive in your music career. You need to build awareness of your music through radio airplay, reviews, interviews, and features. The Indie Bible will help you build your brand with contact information for over 7,000 radio stations, music blogs, and music magazines that want to hear your story and showcase your music. Listings are from the United States, Canada, the UK, Europe, Australia, Asia, and everywhere else. If you're ready to start reaching out and getting some ears on your music, then visit strongwriting.net slash Indie Bible or click the link in the show notes to get instant access to the best deal on the Indie Bible Ultimate Bundle today. So, without further ado, let's get right into my session with Trikvi. Here we go. All right, Trikvi, welcome to the Strong Writing Podcast. Thank you. Um, Good to be so here. So we're going we're gonna, to uh, set some goals today. Yes. But before we begin, I want you to just introduce yourself uh, we've known each other for a long time, but I'm assuming most of the listeners don't know you. So please tell us uh, about your songwriting journey and and uh, tell me everything. Well, um, I've been writing music since, um, well, basically since I was a teenager. But um, I started um, writing proper songs in 2008, I think, like, um, and started putting out songs um in 2018 so i'm a really late bloomer in that respect um but um yeah i've been uh, i've been having quite a lot of success lately for um those three songs that i put out um one of my songs was selected um to be one of the songs for uh the day of icelandic music this year um where the whole nation sang three songs that were selected um uh yeah for that day for that, that occasion and um took part in a in a live television um broadcast on that day and um all of my songs have actually reached um top the top 30 in on the radio charts um yeah. one of those like actually reached number 3 um for a few weeks so yeah um, so my journey has been quite good when I finally <laughs> set off on it, like yeah. um, l having written music like basically all my life, but um, not until like my early forties when I like really started to put it, put it out there, and realizing that my songs actually have an audience and um, and I can actually um, people are actually listening to it and want to hear more. Something that I wasn't expecting at all. Yeah. 
And uh, there are so many people, including myself, who can relate to that, I think. And I think a lot of people listening will know uh, that feeling of, I don't think anybody's going to want to listen to this except me. <laughs> But, you know, you are uh, living proof that that's usually not true. I mean, there is, uh, you know, we're, we all tend to sell ourselves short. And uh, when we put ourselves out there, we get good things back. And you actually got a government grant, right? Yes. Yes, um, for uh, like for my next album and like my first EP hasn't even come out yet. Right. Like I've only had like those singles out, and um, and actually my EP will come out probably this May. Awesome. So yeah, just put the finishing touch in it like yesterday. So oh, um, it should come out. It should come out like in a couple of months or so. Wonderful. Hopefully, if everything goes to plan. Yes, and I got a grant for for the next one, which I think is like such an uh, such an honor, and like to to have um, people people believe in it that much that like they actually are giving me a grant for uh, another one when I haven't got one out yet. So <laughs> it's amazing. So now it's I wonderful. have to write more songs. Like now I'm kind of like, oh my god, now I have to write. Like it's not just uh yeah. Not just uh, something that I can do in my free time. Like I have to write a lot more, and that's a scary feeling sometimes. And I know that sure I've is. been through. You know, when I got my first job writing for theater, an actual paid job to mm -hmm. to write music, I was ecstatic for about twenty four hours, and then I panicked because it was like, <laughs> oh no, I have to write these ten songs and yeah. and on a deadline, and I can't just sit around and wait. For inspiration, and that's really where my uh, my sort of system of songwriting came from. Where I just said, "Okay, I need to figure out ways to make this happen on a regular basis." Yeah, S a and, system that is something that I'm really, really needing right now. Right, and uh, you're a coaching client. Yes, and uh, and I uh, today we want to talk about uh, goals because you know you obviously have. You have an, a built-in goal here. You need to uh, put together an album yes. because you you have money. You, there's money now, <laughs> and, and it's, uh, it's usually it's the other not way a, around. Like, yeah, exactly. I need money it, to get those songs out, but now it's like <laughs> I need songs to put that money to use. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so there's pressure, which is the best thing that can happen for uh, any music career. Uh, it it forces you out of your comfort zone, um, and. Uh, we we talked before we started recording about you sort of long term and short term goals. Yeah, and and uh, your long term goal as is as everybody should have you know every everybody in your position should have is to uh, make a living from songwriting. Yeah, uh, whether that's a, I mean, eventually, hopefully, a full time living, um, and hopefully a, a good living, um, but at least you know. Uh, make make money from your music and uh the the short-term goal that we discussed uh the one that's going to get you uh, the album and the one that's going to get you to that place ultimately is mm -hmm. to have a consistent and strong songwriting routine so that you're creating on a regular basis so it's uh, so that it's not just happening in in short bursts right yes yes all right. Like waiting for inspiration should be the title of my um, my EP actually, because <laughs> that's kind of yeah. like the way I've been. Like it took me three years, and that's because the songwriting has taken like the, the like that's the time it's taken. Like it hasn't been the recordings or the producing or anything. It's just been the slow songwriting. Yeah, uh, and that's I think way too common. In my experience, from talking to songwriters, there are. You know, procrastination tends to be the bane of our existence, mm -hmm. and there are two main reasons that I found. It's either uh, people get stuck waiting for inspiration, and I always say that inspiration is a myth anyway. Yeah. Uh, it's <laughs> just, uh, point. you know, it, it's you can you can. Uh, that's why I I I do what I call creative mining. It's not you know you're not waiting for something to come your way. You're going and you're getting it. Um, and the other reason is, and th that's the one that I have struggled with, is confidence to just get things done. 
and uh, and that presents itself in the form of perfectionism, which is often the worst thing that can happen. You know, and you know, there's a famous saying: procrastination is just a fancy word for um, no, perfectionism is just a, a fancy word for procrastination. And um, and I happen to think that's true. So uh, before we get into breaking down this goal uh, of of setting up a consistent songwriting routine, why don't you tell me? Why why this is important to you? I mean, we've sort of talked about it, but let's just set it down and, and even write it down. Like, why is this goal important to you right now? Um, <clears throat> the goal to have consistent um, writing and like to be consistent in, in, in writing songs. Yeah. Um, like, I've always had these bursts of, of uh, like, I write like, one, two, three, up to five songs, and then like there's nothing, 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 like months and months. That's why it's taken me like yeah, three years to to finish uh, just a short EP. Mm-hmm. And it's important to me, like both for my just for my writing confidence to have um, something steady going on there. Like like because um, like it it always takes kind of like when it takes such a long time and when you like when you keep waiting for something to happen and then it doesn't happen because and then like you stop trying to because um yeah because it just doesn't happen because you're not really doing anything for it to to make it happen sure and like that takes away my confidence and that takes away um like and then I start procrastinating a lot more and yeah, it's it's just important to to keep me going, like right. Um, Get momentum. All the yeah, the momentum and, and and like and all the goals will like they will all fall apart if if like if this isn't happening, then like then I can't right. really have any long term goals if if I can't like have an output. Yeah, yeah, that's I think that's uh, a really good point. If you know if if you're uh, if your creative output is consistent, a lot of the other goals will fall into place. And it's going yes. to be a lot easier to 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 set goals of of you know increasing revenue of getting songs uh, out there uh, you know getting albums out there and and also getting songs into maybe uh, theater as I've been doing or into movies or video games or whatever um, in terms of you know getting in in some revenue. So yeah, I mean um, the music business today it's not like it was you know, 30, 40 years ago when people could put out an album every three years and make a living off of that. Mm-hmm. It's it's very much a numbers game now, regardless of whether you want to focus on streams or selling albums or getting music licensed or working in theater or whatever. It comes down to creating a lot of songs. Yeah. Uh, you know, if, if you want, if you want revenue. So I think that's uh, that's a great uh, uh, that's a great why you know is just uh, to line everything else up, uh, and so that's what's going to happen if you if you accomplish this if you if you get into a rhythm of creativity it's going to allow you to have a better vision uh, and and have a better uh, it's going to be it's going to be easier to reach other goals. Yes. So I think it's a great it's a great goal to set. For the next, and again, we're going to do this in the next three months. That's our goal right here: is for the next three months to be focused on consistency. And uh, and if you don't, uh, that's another question. When and by the way, we're working from a uh, uh, goal setting worksheet. And if anybody out there wants to go through the same process, you can follow along by going to strongwriting.net/goals. And there you can download this uh, this uh, goal setting worksheet for free. So, what happens if you don't accomplish this? Um, <clears throat> if I don't accomplish this goal, then like all my long term goals won't um, won't take place either. So, um, and it will like I know that like it will also just like it will keep keep like digging itself into my confidence and into um, all the other things. Sure. And um, yeah, like like knowing myself, I know that like this will be like, oh, so like I can't have consistent output 
um, if I can't do that, then like, then I really can't do any of the other stuff. So like, why am I being a musician? Why am I like, am I really, am I actually creative? And right. <laughs> which is something that like, um, like I have to deal with that doubt, like, um, every day anyway. And like, and I'm, I, I know that like, this will also help in, in that. So yeah. Confidence and drive are yes. super important. Drive yeah. is something that like, that I would love to have yeah. a lot more of. Yeah. Uh, and, and, you know, and <laughs> I, I can say for me, you know, I, I've, I've gone through this cycle a number of times and, and there is a definite, you know, if, if I just sit down with my guitar mm-hmm. and, and at least open up my audio workstation, then I just feel better about myself. Even if I don't write anything, if I just sit down to do that, it's sort of like a, a guy I knew, he had this trick of, um, for going to the gym. He, no matter how badly he was feeling, no matter if he was sick or if he was just not feeling up for it or whatever, he would always go to the gym and put on his gym clothes. And then he could back out. If he, if he wanted to go home again, at that point, he gave himself permission to do that. And he almost never did. Uh, <laughs> and I think that, you know, if you just, if you go through the motions of getting started, then yeah. chances are you'll do something and it's going to help you because, uh, Willpower is the last thing you should rely on when it comes to anything, <laughs> uh, because willpower is is just so limited. But so, um, okay, so we have our goal, and uh, well, we 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 know that we want you to set up a a a, a, a proper, uh, consistent root, songwriting routine. Yes. So now we're going to go through the smarter framework. Mm-hmm. Smarter is uh, if, uh, most people have heard of the SMART framework of goal setting. This is called Smarter, and it's just a slight variation on SMART. So it's an acronym, and the Smarter stands for Specific, Measurable, Actionable, Risky, Time Based, Exciting, and uh, Relevant should be one of those. Uh, but I've got Risky down here twice for some reason. So it should be should be relevant <laughs> is the second uh, is the first R is relevant, the second is risky. I need to update this worksheet. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a little bit scary when it says risky twice, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so no, like, it's supposed to be relevant. More, more risky? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Risky and then more. Uh, no, specific, measurable, actionable, relevant, time based, exciting, and risky. So, uh, so let's go through this and and alter. Uh, the goal of consistent routine based on this. So specific, uh, a consistent routine is not specific enough. Mm -hmm. Um, So it should be, uh, so we should think about, you know, what do you want to accomplish and why? And what are the requirements for that? And what are the constraints? So uh, I would say that um, what you're trying to do is is to create consistently. And to make that more specific... It should be a goal of having a daily songwriting routine. Yes. Because that's that's way more specific. A daily so, songwriting routine, putting that yeah. down. Uh, so that's that's your more specific goal, yeah. to have a daily songwriting routine. And um, and then we can get into to exactly how that is. But that's at least more specific as a goal. And so we want to make it measurable. And so that includes like how how you're going to measure your progress and how you'll know uh, when that's accomplished. So there are two there are two types of goals. There are uh, achievement goals, meaning you're going to achieve something specific, or there are habit goals. And this mm-hmm. is a habit goal. So there's sure. no um, the so this is really the 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 uh, the process is what we measure, not the outcome. So we're going to, uh, you know, because if, if it was a measurable outcome, we could say write ten songs. That's a measurable outcome. But here we're going to say, okay, it's a habit. So we're going to say um, for three months you're going to write, you're going to go through your songwriting routine every day for yeah. three months. Um, they say it takes, on average, sixty six days to make a habit automatic. Okay. So if you do this for 90 days and you do it every day, then it should become automatic for your brain. Of course, it, it varies. There are, you know, 
66 days is the average it could yeah. take a lot longer but you know that's um it's at least that's a a very solid goal to shoot for so that's how we measure it is just by doing it every day and not skipping a single day um and the a in smarter stands for actionable which means so how how do we accomplish this goal what are the logical steps and again this is just uh what, what we what we need to start by doing is to uh define your routine mm-hmm and set aside a time for it because it's going to be a lot easier if you do it at the same time every day. Yes. Uh, and and then then just do it. So this is a very actionable goal. So we're we're good that we check that box. Uh, relevant is the next one, not risky. Relevant. <laughs> um, so uh, relevance. Uh, the the key there is to set a goal that's that you need to be focusing on right now. You know, there are a lot of good goals. There are no wrong or right goals, but goals can be more or less relevant for you. So uh, if you if you would set a goal now to set up a tour, that wouldn't be relevant for you because your long-term goal now is to to get the album done and to... Yeah. To, to get more songs out there. So this is a very relevant goal for you because it's going to allow you to reach your long-term goals as we've already gone through. And uh, time-based, uh, so this is definitely time-based because mm-hmm. it's a daily habit. So that's the time, and, and, and it's a three-month daily habit. And it's uh, you're going to set aside time, the same time every day, preferably, to to work on it so it's definitely time based now the uh so that's the smart framework basically and the other the extra two letters are uh for exciting and risky and those are what i think make it even better so the uh exciting is you know does it align with your why and your why is to you know set everything up so that you are better equipped to reach your long term goals yes uh and do you get excited when you think about what it means to you, what this goal means to you? Oh my God, yes. Like Awesome. What got me into music in the beginning was songwriting. So like right. I've, I've never been much of a musician in, in the other um, sense of the word. Like I've always <laughs> been the creative person. Like I've always been the one like when I when I learned three chords and I could like I could actually put a song together and like okay i'm good i don't need to learn anything more like yeah like i just want to make songs three chords and the truth that's all you yeah need. totally <laughs> so awesome and the last one is risky uh and that is you know is this stretching your comfort zone is it it, it can't be too easy if the goal is too easy then it's it's not gonna it's not gonna keep you excited right yeah and, and it definitely uh, is stretching my my limits in every correct. respect. Like it's it's going to be such um, such a challenge challenge for my ADHD brain as well. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just that's stop awesome. procrastinating. Yeah. Um, so I think that uh, you know this is uh, it's a very very doable goal, uh, but it's it's stretching you, and it's a it's a just a perfect goal for where you are right now. Yes. And um so it it's 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 great for that and uh you know if if we were I recommend setting a few goals but this is great for your songwriting and then you know you could set other goals for your for the rest of your life as well. Mm-hmm. But so we've got this goal. So the the goal is to set up a songwriting routine and do it every single day for 90 days. So um we're going to um we're going to go through all the steps that you need to take to do that. So, um, first of all, do you have a, a songwriting space? Um, I am working on setting it up. Okay. So, like, I live in a in a like quite a, quite a tiny apartment. Right. And so, like, one of the one of the things about writing has been that, like, I. I've been lacking 
a creative space. Like I've been lacking okay. in kind of like, I feel like I'm just doing everything in the same spot. And so mm-hmm. like, it just feels like, and like that, that also like takes away um, my attention. So like, I'm kind of like, Oh, I haven't done the dishes. And like, and I like go from, from my guitar to that. And like, so I'm working on putting up a corner here where like, where I have all the, um, all the songwriting gear and it's kind of, and, and like all of the recording stuff as well. So yeah. I can, um, and which doesn't face anything else. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's, that's good... kind of like, so I can like, so I have like, also like I'm putting on the wall, um, like some inspirations, like even though, um, <laughs> I'm not waiting. So like, I'm not waiting for inspiration anymore, but like, I'm still like, I'm putting up things that will like rather, uh, push myself, um, to keep on going instead of, um, yeah. facing the other direction and doing something else. So I think motivation, I, like having motivation yes, around motivation, that's, that's is, what it is. is. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I, I always recommend that people, uh, have like positive affirmations in front of them when, yeah. you know, in their that, songwriting that's, space. That's what I'm working on now. Like putting things yeah. like, like putting up a corner where like, where I have all that and it doesn't face, um, doesn't face the kitchen the or, or yeah, <laughs> or yeah. Something that like that could actually take away, um, take away my motivation and my um, my attention. That's excellent. That's I think a very good first step is to just designate that space to yeah. you know and and um, make sure that it's like a happy place. That's a very uh, good because the brain is going to then associate that space with creativity. The more you the more you do it. And uh, I know you sometimes write morning pages, which I always think yes. is great for creativity. You should probably do that in the same space. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, sure. Um, for anybody out there who doesn't know uh, morning pages, it's a part of a book called The Artist's Way that I recommend that every single creative person read. And uh, I'll put a link to that in the show notes. So, uh, so set up a space and then f- find the time. So time is number two. That's step number two. Yeah. Uh, is there a time during the day that's, you know, good on most days to, yes. to do this? Definitely. Okay. So like, I'm like, um, I think that like, because like I, I will do the morning pages in the mornings and yeah. like I have a couple of mornings off and like, and I've figured like, oh, maybe that's the time. But like, no, um, I'm going to do it in the afternoon. Um, after I finish work, which is also like it's, I've I've realized now that like that's that's like that's a that's a time that like that I haven't been like I haven't been utilizing that time at all. So like right. it's it's the it's the, it's the time that like that I feel like I should just be oh like now I just need to relax. But like my way of relaxing is actually the same as you know as when my creative output is and like yeah. is the most. So like. I'm thinking I should definitely use that time when I come home. I'm gonna sit down in my creative space, and I'm realizing now that like, oh my god, that's that's such a perfect time to do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, it is. Yeah, I've, I've I've actually been I've been putting a lot of thought into this lately. Like, great. So like, <laughs> how that's do fantastic. I do this? How do I accomplish it? Yeah, yeah. So I think that's you know, um, and and I actually recommend just um writing it down write it on your calendar like in your google calendar or if you have a a paper planner or whatever i i i do my planning on paper because i i like that um so i write down these things um and and it's it's just great to have it written down this is like a sacred time of course life happens and you you, there will be times when you won't be able to do it at that time. That's inevitable, and you have to prepare for that. Yeah. Um, the trick there is to, if you know ahead of time that, okay, I'm going to have to go be somewhere at this time, then try to figure out ahead of time, so when can I, to what sp- spot during my day can I move my songwriting session? Um, and if something comes up unexpectedly, then you know, try to figure out, okay, can I do it later? Can I, uh, or something, you know, and, you know, it, it very well might happen that there will be days when it's just not possible, but, uh, just be honest with yourself, whether it's 
that or if it's just your procrastination that's pushing it out of the way. You know, because that is, and again, just sit down and go through the routine. If you're just really not feeling up to up for it, just sit down and go through the routine. And we're going to go through that next. Uh, but so the time, you, you've set, set aside the time. Now the routine, and uh, we've gone, I, I go through this in a lot more detail in my in my online course, but, um, and and I think you've you've already gone through those lessons, right? Yeah, yeah. So uh, basically, what you want to do is set a very detailed step by step routine that you're going to go through. And again, this is all yeah. about training your brain to get into the into the uh, creative mode. So, have you thought about this? What your routine? Like the the beginning, like how do you get yourself into a songwriting mood? Have you thought about that? Mm, like like not really more specifically than just like than than actually just sitting down in that um, specific place at that specific time, and like just just being in that motivational um, um, space. So like right. that's kind of um, I haven't gone any further than that. Right. That like, well, I mean, that, that's that a good this start. This is how it how it starts. Yeah, I mean, that's a good that's a good start. I kind of like um, just have like setting a rule of okay, when I sit down with my guitar, I just play. Mm-hmm. That's just my, the start of my session. Is I sit down, I I grab a guitar, uh, or I mean, it could be another instrument, but for me, it's it's almost always the guitar, and just playing some scales playing some chords not really thinking about what i'm playing or just just playing for Mm -hmm. you know four or five minutes uh just playing just warming up my fingers warming up my musical brain and then either listening to a song that i've been working on or playing a song that i've been working on so those things really get me into a creative mode and um and they sort of and and also I mean just singing a song that I like whether it's my own or a cover, just playing and singing a song without you know like not being not pressuring myself to be creative right away. Yeah, I think is a very gentle way to ease into the creative mode, right? So, you know, those are sort of things that I that I would recommend. But there are a lot of different things that you could do as well. Um, you know, uh, there are, you could, it, it, it all depends on like how your creative mind works because, you know, I'm, I'm pretty visual. So I like looking at images when I'm creating. Um, and so that, that kind of gets me going a little bit. So maybe, uh, uh, that's something that could work if you, uh, have, uh, uh, an, an art website that you like looking at or or something like that you know that's something that works um the main thing is not to go on youtube because that's gonna <laughs> you get stuck there uh <laughs> but um <laughs> been there done that yes yes i think we all have um but you know it, it's it's all about finding this these three four steps before you actually start to try to write music that just get you going. You know, it's the same as I talked about before, the going to the gym and putting on your gym clothes. Mm -hmm. Chances are you're going to go and work out because you're already there and you're wearing the clothes. So you've done the hard part, which is to just get to the place. And I think that picking up an instrument and warming up your hands and your voice, Mm -hmm. that's the hard part. Definitely. So if you get into the habit of doing this every day at roughly the same time, it's just that is going to make it infinitely more easy to, easier is the word, isn't it? Yeah. Um, to, to do this, you know. Uh, so that's the, uh, that's the third step that you need to take is to just, just start doing it. Like, like write it down on a piece of paper, put that in your songwriting space, like the steps mm-hmm. that you're going to take. And and then just show up every day and, and, and do those, you know, three, four things or whatever they are. 
um, and 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 then you know then try to write. And you know, uh, of course, I I have uh, the the system that I've that you've already that you already have uh, as a part of my course that that does have step by step things to help you mine for ideas. Yeah, um, which you can use. But then again, you know, um, that's that's for use when nothing's happening by itself. And chances are that the more you do this, the more things just come to you without any effort. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Totally. And like, I, yeah. I already know, like, just, just through this talk right now, I already realized, like, those visual things and those, like, like those things that I can use. Like, yeah. um, I just realized when you talked about you being visual, Mm-hmm. And and like yeah, like that's what I am too. And like um, um, like I started uh, drawing and doing paintings uh, in COVID. So right. like something that I like. My brother has always been an artist, but like I could never draw to save my life. But then <laughs> yeah. suddenly I was like, oh, I want to do this, and I'm like, and I'm going to, and started doing that. So like I'm like, oh, I can actually use my visual art to help me in in that. Uh-huh. Yes, absolutely. So that, that's that's definitely something that I'm I'm going to uh, unite those things and 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 like realizing now that like ah I can actually use those things together. They can actually help you know each other. So yes, of course, it's all you know. There's um, you know creativity is is a three dimensional thing. You know. Yes. <laughs> and uh, so uh, you know there's there aren't really milestones per se in this which you know if you if you're going for a, a an achievement based goal or an outcome based goal then you'd have milestones this is just showing up and doing the work but um but there are uh i guess you know the milestones are just week by week day by day i mean this is you know i, I if, if you're going through recovery for an addiction then you take things one step at a time one day at a time you know, uh, one hour at a time if you have to. To me, this is because I have uh, full disclosure been going through recovery for food addiction, mm-hmm. and uh, and it's very much just one day at a time, one meal at a time, and it's gotten me thinking that this is kind of the same thing because procrastination is a form of addiction, um, and. Uh, it, or you know, it's it's an aversion. I, I guess the the correct way to say it is that addiction is a form of aversion. It's an avoidance of dealing with things, and mm-hmm. procrastination is the same same thing. So um, so I think it's it's important to celebrate your wins and do that every day or every week. Just think of things that you can do to reward yourself you know especially after the three months you should definitely do something very nice for yourself i'm a big proponent of self-care i think that we should all be getting massages Mm -hmm. uh lathering ourselves with creams and potions and uh you know soaking in hot tubs anything that we can do to make ourselves feel good and special so I think it's very important to think of a few things that you can do, you know, whether you do it once per month, once per week or whatever, just celebrate those milestones in this three month journey. And then at the end, find something really special. And I'm not going to put too much pressure on you now. I mean, if there are things that you can think of right off the top of your head that you've been wanting to do or waiting to do, uh, then, then you should definitely write them down right now. Mm -hmm. You can tell us if you want. Uh, but you know, think of as many as you can, uh, is there something that you can think of right away? Uh, no, no, like not at the top of my head. But all right, um, no pressure. But um, but definitely, you know, uh, if if there's and it, again, it it shouldn't have to be something that's expensive to do or something that it certainly shouldn't be something that's unhealthy to do. But um, <laughs> but just something that makes you feel good and that makes you feel special and that makes the achievement even more special once you've yeah. gotten there so that's something that uh is homework for you is to just write down a, a few things and uh you know again this is what 12 weeks 
if you yeah. can think of 12 things, like, you know, and it mm. can be the same, yeah. like, you know, every week that you've been successful, you're going to do a certain something. And then at the end of three months, you're going to do something extra special, like, I don't know, go have a full body deep tissue massage. And a spa <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking of. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, but um, like, like this also, like this really resonates with me. Because like yeah. you know, I did the artist way book as well. Like I I did that like a some some years ago, yeah. and there's like a because she always talks about taking care of your artist, taking care yeah. of your creative person, and yeah. like that's always been to me like the key to self care. Yeah, and like I did I did those steps when I was um, uh, when I was actually going through a burnout um, yeah. as a teacher. Mm-hmm. So. Um, so self care since then has always been a big part of 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 my life and like and I also like I'm a big believer in that and in that like you should always uh, make yourself feel good about your accomplishments and like um sometimes you don't even realize you're you're accomplishing something and you're actually like there are and you're accomplishing your goals but yeah. that's that's also one of the reasons why I think it's so important to to celebrate that like because this makes the the accomplishment or the uh, or the the goal like more like like it's more like it's there like you can um you can actually feel that that you've actually done it and like you're celebrating that and that makes it more real more yeah. attainable more like like you're holding it Absolutely. and i like that i really like that and that just like that's something that i've like i've actually been doing that like so yeah. i i will continue making an effort to do that and yeah i mean i I think it's it's just absolutely uh key if you want to accomplish anything you have to give yourself credit for the accomplishment yes definitely Uh, because otherwise there's no motivation so um so write that down and have it you know and and like have have the end goal in mind like oh yes if i if i keep you know this is what i'm going to get this is what i'm going to allow myself to do and it's going to feel wonderful and you know, and I, I've been through burnout as well. So that's, you know, um, it's not fun. Nope. <laughs> um, so, you know, you should never put too much pressure on yourself. But you should also put some pressure on yourself because otherwise nothing happens. Like pressure is good, but like you, but like it's just just as important to, to like the reward is just as, as, as important. And like when you just put pressure and there's no reward and there's like, there's nothing and like you just like, Pushing yourself, pushing yourself, pushing yourself, yeah. and like th- th- that's kind of like th- that's the mistake I made. That's why. That's really why I burned out. Like, yeah, you know, I I, I use exercise metaphors a lot. That's mm-hmm. why my website is called Strong Writing. Uh, and you know, if you if you lift weights, then you put a lot of pressure on your muscle, and then you rest. And the rust and the muscle heals and rebuilds itself, and that's how mm-hmm. you get stronger. But if you have constant pressure, then you're going to tear your muscle, and you're going to hurt yourself a lot. So mm-hmm. it's all about balance. It's all about relaxation and healing, and you know, uh, yeah, keeping things balanced. Totally. So uh, we have your your goal now, your smarter goal, which is thirty. Uh, no, not thirty. Ninety days of uh uh you know going through a songwriting routine and uh you've you know and do, doing it every day at roughly the same time and you are setting up a space and you've set aside a time yes and uh i've given you some ideas for your how to structure your routine so that it becomes habitual and uh automatic you know that's really the key to any any uh kind of change is automaticity to make these things as automatic as brushing your teeth before bed yeah it's just something that you do uh and uh i do recommend uh for anybody who's interested and uh you you might want to check this book out is this book called atomic habits which is all about like how to do these little micro changes that help you build habits. And that's why I focus a lot on the on the little steps in the routine because the routine itself is kind of a big thing. But sitting down and picking up a guitar, that's very small. And, you know, 
playing a few things. That's very small. So just focus on the tiny steps, not the big jumps. I think that's uh, a key here. Yeah. So uh, what I want to do is I want to, you know, we're, we're going to go through this and obviously I'm going to be there uh, for this for you and, and uh, we'll be in constant touch over the next 30, uh, 90 days. And <laughs> oh, uh, I don't know why too I, easy. Saying, <laughs> I don't know. It's, um, I keep trying to say 90 days and three months at the same time. And it yeah, turns yeah, into yeah. 30, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, 30 minutes. No. Um, and, uh, and then I want to bring you back and, you know, go over how this has been going and your next steps. Yes. Okay. Sound good? Yeah, totally. Awesome. I'm very, Thank ex- you so I'm much, very excited. So am I. Um, and I, I can't wait to see uh, and hear the songs that you're going to be creating three months from now. So uh, thank you so much for, for doing this and for opening yourself up and uh, being here. Uh, I can't wait for your album in May. I'm holding you to that. Yes. And like like that. Now there's, there's a bit of pressure and there yes. will be that reward at the end. So Yes, um. exactly. <laughs> uh, but for anybody listening, where should they go to watch for that album so they can get it when it comes out oh um i have i have a facebook page and i have an instagram page as well and okay. i also um like quite recently i made a made a website also like where you can get on my mailing list and if yes. you uh write yourself down on that mailing list you will, will get um you'll get hats up like um before everyone else so okay. i would definitely recommend you going to uh trickvimusic.com okay and, cool and i'll put and links to all of these list. of course yes awesome and th- th- then i'm also on like all the rest like facebook and instagram and, and bandcamp and, and all the rest yes wonderful so um thanks so much and i'll see you next time thank you very much thank you for having me <laughs> <laughs>